Okay guys, this is Jim Pytel, your instructor for Digital 1 ET 121 at Columbia Course Community College's Renewable Energy Technology Program. Okay, today we're going to go over binary arithmetic, which is going to be divided up into four areas. The first one is going to be addition. follows some basic rules where 0 plus a 0, 0, 0 plus a 1 is a 1, 1 plus a 0, that's also a 1, and 1 plus a 1 is equal to 1, 0. This is binary. Okay, now notice how these have just one place, this guy has two. How do digital systems handle this? Well, they break it up this fashion. And this is the sum of 1, oh, excuse me, of 0, and this is our carry out of 1. Okay? So just like decimal systems um, have a uh, decimal addition, have carries to them, um, for example, just uh, 27 uh, plus 15. So 7 plus 5 is a 12, you keep that 2. Just think of that as the sum. Now you've got a 1 there, which is your carry, which is very similar to that. That goes up over here into this column, and you add those guys together, 42. Okay? So just like decimal, binary system, you're going to follow the same rules. Okay, so decimal systems follow the same, um, same way of using a carry out. Okay, so let's go ahead and try a decimal example. Um, let's do 101 plus 011. Okay, so 1 and a 1, do this here, that's going to be equal to 0, or sum, and carry a 1. So where does that go? It's going to go just like that one went right there. Okay, so now it's a 1 and a 1. That's also 0. And our carry is going to go there. That's a 1. And that comes down there. Okay? So, um, no, let's just do a couple more examples. So that was an example 0. That's an example 1. That's a binary system. Okay. 1, 1, 0 plus. Okay, 0 and 1, that's using this rule right here. That's 1. 1 and 1, again, it's 0. Carry, it's going to go over here. That's 1. Comes down to 1, 0. So 1, 0, 0, 1. That's our answer. Um, example 1, 0. Okay, so example 1, 0 is. One, two, three, four, ones, plus, plus on so one and zero, one, one and zero, one, one and one is a zero, and a carry is a one. So now this guy right here is a one zero, and then plus this one right there, instead of one, one. Got it? So check our work here. Um, what is this, you know, just check this thing in, in decimal here. That's what we read for decimal. What's that in decimal? What's that in decimal? We're making sense here. So it's two to the zero, two to the one, two to the three, two to the four, so that's 16 plus eight. 4 is 1. What did I just do? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. That was what I skipped. 2. 8. 4. 2. That obviously didn't make sense. It's 15. And then this guy right here was an 8. 
12. That should give us a 27. Is this thing equal to 27? Well, okay. Let's just follow it down here. It is 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4. So that's 16 plus 8 plus 2 plus 1. Alright, so let's go on to subtraction. That's pretty simple for addition. Subtraction follows apple. Means. Subtraction. Okay, so let's make our uh, rules first. Zero minus zero, that's a zero. One minus one, that's a zero. One minus zero, that's a one. Okay? Ten minus one. That's a 1. That uh, actually is a 10. 1, 0, minus 1. Okay. Nothing strange so far. But now, get to this guy. 0 minus 1 equals borrow of 1. So, we'll detail how this works. First off, let's do just the plain old vanilla. zero, we're using this guy right here. So that's one. One minus one, zero. So example, one, 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 minus one, zero, zero. So one minus zero, one, one minus zero, one, one minus one, so those were no bottoms. Okay, let's try one with a borrow. 101 minus 0, 1, 1. Okay, 1 minus 1, that's a 0. But now we get this, this column here. 0 and a 1. 0 minus 1. So what you gotta do is basically borrow 1 from this column right here. And cross that out. So that's a 0 this one a one zero. So now we're this rule here. That's a one. Zero minus zero, zero. Okay? So remember to borrow from the from that next column to the left. So let's do another 